Hey, this is Bodine y están escuchando Sound Advice. Hi, I am Bodine and I make music in español. And um, I'm still figuring out what genre, but I think we're touching more flavors of the Afro, Afro beat, reggaeton, spice. It was dope watching your show last night. You're Ooh. just incredible, <laughs> ruled the stage. How do you approach performing? How do you approach like creating that experience live? Um, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the show before that, I kind of fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I think you caught me right in the moment. I think mm -hmm. that was actually one of the moments I enjoyed myself the most ever, you know? Um, but I think that was really it, not to be in your head and really enjoy your own music on stage, literally. I think that's, that's what it really is. Awesome, and like with your music, even just now, like you're counting in so many different <laughs> languages, you've lived all over the place, how does, your experience living in so many different places, exposed to so many different cultures, how does that impact your artistic style? A lot, a lot. Um, I can tell you a quick story. You know, yeah. uh, I was born in Amsterdam, Holland, and that was, you know, pop world. So, um, you know, when I met the Spice Girls on MTV, I was just like, wow, that, that was it for me, you know, to Madonna, to Britney Spears. Um, but then I moved to Puerto Rico when I was 10, and uh, I started listening to Daddy Yankee, Don Omar, Hector El Father, and I was like, wow, this is straight porn to my ears. So good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, lyrically and also sonically, uh, just the beat itself, you know. Um, Um, it's just so catchy, and I think those flavors, um, I want to include salsa and merengue and bachata, you know, my family comes also from the Dominican Republic. It's really a big fusion of sounds, so when it comes to making music, I love exploring a little bit of everything and picking a little bit of everything. And with, like, building the visual aspect of your music, you recently released a video that was inspired by Iris Chacon. Can you yeah, talk about oof. the inspiration behind that? Mommy damn. Yeah, just talk about her. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, what inspired that? What was that creative process like crafting that video? Yeah, you know, I've been watching Iris Chacon since I'm a little kid. You know, my mom just loved Iris Chacon, La Lupe, Celia Cruz. And watching her videos, wow, I, guys, go see those videos. They're super fire. Uh, she had this one particular video, Con Tu Amor, where she's kind of like giving pelo, cuerpa, cintura, everything. And I was like, wow. I mean, I will never be close to that, but I'll try something, you know? Um, so I shot um, this idea to a super cool creative uh, team in LA. And I say, hey, this is for the arts. We don't have the budget yet. <laughs> But uh, see if you guys are down to do this. And immediately we got response and we shot it in LA. And that video, I mean, I, I have a true love for that video. So uh, check it out. No me quiere miss that. It's fantastic. Um, Thank you. In addition to Edis, who are some other women that you've looked up to for inspiration um, like yeah. creatively or just in general in life? Yeah, I think, you know, coming from pop first, I would say uh, Britney, uh, Shakira, Mano Shakira, she for me, I really loved her since day one because she really brought so much fusion, you know, uh, in music. But um, I would say Evie Queen as well, because for me, when I came to Puerto Rico, she was one of the female, you know, icons. Her music was always present. And I would, I actually want to give a shout out to Carol G because I've been watching her since the first day she came around in the business. And she's just been so patient and working so hard and pushing and just transforming herself, you know, creatively, sonically. I just freaking love you. So good. So good. She's, yeah. She's incredible. Rompiendo. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. for our last question, as part of our sound advice series. Um, can you just tell us either the best or the worst advice you've received? A piece of advice that you think is great for people to know or a piece of advice that you heard and you're like, that's not it, like I'm not going to do that, but one of the two. I can tell you two and one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, when I started um, really taking music, this series that I want to really come into the industry and play, um, I had a lot of people tell me that I was terrible that I had no talent, that, I mean, that I sucked, really. I had people telling me that to my face. 
And that kind of inspired me. Every no I got was kind of like injecting myself with adrenaline <laughs> of like, I have to polish myself even harder. And it's not even an ego thing. It's just more like, I just trusted myself so much in saying, you know, if they're saying no, if they're saying I'm not good enough, it means that actually they're scared of me. <laughs> mm. <I like laughs> and that. yeah, because they're <laughs> I like, like actually, I don't want her to like, you know, go get it, you know. So every no was a yes for me in my mind, and I think I applied that to myself. So girls, particularly the girls, every no is a yes. <laughs>